On an average day, roughly 3,500 of these trucks cross the border at Otay Mesa. They are the backbone of California's economy, bringing in goods from south of the border. But they are also a major contributor to pollution. The trucks are responsible for roughly 50 percent of all the pollutant we see in the air here in California. Randall Offer is an air pollution specialist with the California Air Resources Board. He says these diesel trucks emit particulate matter that is hazardous for your health especially for those living in industrial areas, such as Barrio Logan. We know that in areas where there's high truck traffic, there are higher cancer rates a lot of times. According to CARB, particulates from diesel engines are responsible for up to 70 percent of known cancer risk in California. That's why CARB developed the Portable Emission Acquisition System, or PEAKS, it will allow the agency to screen more trucks and catch ones that don't meet California's emission standards, and they could be deployed anywhere. This mobile system checks for emissions by drawing air through those pipes right there, and data are sent through these analyzers right here, and trucks with high emissions are sent for secondary inspection at the Old Time Mesa CHP station. The system captured data such as how much particulate matter was emitted and the levels of carbon dioxide, nitric oxide, and nitrogen oxides, gases that contribute to smog and acid rain. This is all part of the heavy-duty inspection and maintenance program signed into law by Governor Gavin Newsom in 2019. The program aims to ensure heavy-duty trucks' emissions remain low for their entire service life. It'll actually improve the cost situation for the trucks themselves because this system is designed to make sure they're operating as they were designed from the factory, reducing repair costs. At the Otay Mesa CHB Commercial Vehicle Enforcement Facility, trucks that failed the secondary inspection are given a citation that could range from a fix-it ticket to several thousand dollars in fines for serious violations. At the border, Alexander Wynn, KPPS News.